Yeah, go for channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are in Lille. And do you remember a few months ago I made a video about the MF500 from Oxello? Well, Decathlon invited us to see the behind the scenes on how they make inland skates and present you a new model today. So let's do this. And yeah, it's cold, it's rainy, let's... Come on, Vladimir. The particularity of the Between Village in Lille is that not only it is a Decathlon store, but it's also a place where everybody can come and do sports freely, even the staff. It's like Disneyland for sports. And right behind the store, there's a huge place where you can see all the people behind the products you're using. It was fascinating to see all the work behind every object we can see in the shelves. Bonjour. Bienvenue chez Oxello, je suis Jonathan, responsable de communication pour la marque et je vous propose de visiter les coulisses d'Oxello. Now, this place is huge and this area is also divided in different departments. For inland skating, the brand is Oxello. And for cycling, it can be Triben and Rock Rider, for example. Damn, isn't that the RC520? That's a gravel bike I've been eyeing for months. Another thing about this place is that they also have different modules where they can work on different aspects of the R&D. Instead of producing the prototypes or broad, they have a large amount of 3D printers that is placed just a few meters from every department. And it's a huge time saver. There is also a painting department where they can see how the paint will react on the materials or even try new color schemes. And before putting something out, the items have to pass multiple tests to be sure they respect all the norms. After a quick tour of the warehouse, they presented us their newest model, the MF900. Alright, so this is the box of the newest model, the MF900. So now let's take a look to see what's inside and how the skates are. Alright, so first things first. Okay, so that, this box is full of things. So we have first a cap. That's cool, we don't see this in the, sh in the shops. Uh, so a booklet of the Oxelo Royal Magazine. Next, we have the skates. Uh, right, so the MF900 is like the MF500, but with much bigger wheels. So I think this is gonna be much suitable for like city skating, long distance skating. And uh, I can't wait to test it. But as I, uh, I've said uh, multiple times, I'm not the greatest with big wheels, but I'm gonna do my best. First thing I can see, I can see that is a big improvement for me is that the wheels are 86A. So if you want to do some slide action, it's gonna be great. So then we have a skate tool. So I think there is a part if you want to remove the bearings, yeah. And the other ones like the four millimeters uh, Allen wrench, and this one is a, I don't know, T25. Maybe for, to remove the, uh, the 45 degree strap, I believe. Gonna see that later. Then we have some socks. I have about 15 pairs of these at home. Like I'm even wearing some right now. I don't like it. I can show it right now, but I swear I'm wearing some, uh, some identical socks. So thank you very much because we don't have this in the stores uh, in Paris. I've been looking, but I can't find it in my size. Then even more cones, I have like, I don't know, like maybe five of or six bags of these. My favorite cones because like they are very, um, no, you can fall on these cones and they do not hurt. So they are very light and very flexible. So that is a good thing. Plus they are not expensive. Then we have, oh, that's cool. So this is, that's all inside the box. Plus we have some stickers. Uh, some great stickers. So this seems to be a skate bag. That's cool. So I believe you can put the skates on the out part. All right, so uh, thank you very much for this and I can't wait to test all of that. But before going for a ride, I got to meet the people who created these skates and it was amazing. All right, so welcome to the Oxello team. So they are the ones responsible for the skates you can actually use. So 
uh, everybody is divided on different sections. So as you can see here is the, um, the marketing team. Behind there is the design team. Next to them is the R&D team. And here is the retail team. Uh, Pierre, donc, euh, leader de la marque, moi j'ai 35 ans, donc je m'occupe de la marque Oxel Roller depuis maintenant bientôt deux ans. His task is to coordinate the team, see what direction to go for the brand and what they can bring for the skaters. Ben bonjour, je m'appelle Olivier Kerrer, j'ai 42 ans et je travaille chez Oxelo en tant que chef de produit sur les rollers adultes et plus particulièrement sur les pratiques freeride, freestyle, street, speed et fitness adulte. And he says that for this project, he took the MF skates and wanted to make them faster but still keep a comfortable maneuverability and stability. So they added a 3x110 setup under the boots. Ouais, je m'appelle Maxence, j'ai 30 ans, je suis design leader chez Oxelo. Mm -hmm. Donc chez Oxelo, on est deux designers, il y a Benoît qui est à ma gauche et moi. Benoît qui s'occupe du junior et moi plutôt de l'adulte. Mm -hmm. We had a long conversation where he showed the process of designing the skates and we also gave some feedbacks on the current models and what we'd like to see in the future ones. And now it's time to take the MF900 for their first ride. Oh yeah, 110 is actually very big for me. But uh, I, I, I love this skating surface, like it's so smooth. Hey, there's not too much people here, but I think I can go fast. But I don't want to scare anybody. The wheels are still brand new. So it's actually very, very sticky, but you know, it is said that we, these wheels are harder compared to the first um, model I tried uh, last year a few months ago. No, like I think they were 82 or 84A. Now they are 86A. So big win for us, especially for the people who enjoy uh, doing slides. Well, the wheels are still brand new, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do slides with right now, but uh, like once they get a little bit more used, I'm gonna try to do some sliding action. Ah. Non, je préfère le... We managed to motivate Jonathan to wear his skates and have fun with us. He's more of a skateboarder than an inland skater, but I've been pleased to see him learning a new trick with us. Oh, 
for someone who's just learning the wheeling, he seems to be very confident. All right, guys, this is it for today's episode. I would like to thank you for inviting us to, to this amazing place and discover all the work behind uh, every pair you put out in the market. So uh, thank you very much for making us discover this You're and welcome. even collaborate with you too. So thank you very much again. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and please help making us getting more popular by sharing this video to your friends. You can change everything. Think about it. All right, guys, see you in the next episode. Thank you, bye. bye.